you're masturbating because you want to fall asleep, that is an idol because the Bible specifically says that the Lord gives his beloved sleep. What's up? It's Johanna with God is Glamour. I hope you learn how to live our best lives through Jesus Christ. And today I want to talk about the top five idols that I believe are really, really pulling us away from Jesus. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So idolatry is really, really serious because the Bible is clear and God is clear that we should have no other gods before God and an idol is anything that takes the place of God. So it could either be fame, money, wealth, fortune, sex, social media, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, marriage, any of that. And I just want to be able to shed some light on it so that we are able to instantly recognize those idols, tear them down, and turn back to Jesus. So the first idol that I believe people need to be aware of is marriage. I believe that so many women, especially within the Christian community, are really making an idol out of marriage and having a husband. And don't get me wrong, marriage is such a beautiful thing, but the Bible is clear and tells us to do not awaken love before it's time. Oftentimes within our single season, God is using the specific time to grow us and birth us into purpose. And if we're constantly praying for a husband and disregarding that this is the season that God has ordained for us to be in right now, it can definitely become an idol. So a lot of women are praying for husbands and the Bible says that one of the reasons why our prayers may not be answered or hindered is because we pray with selfish intentions. So the Bible tells us in James chapter 4 verse 3, you ask but you do not receive because when you ask, you ask with selfish motives so that you can spend what you get on your own selfish desires. So the Bible is clear and says that when we ask with the wrong motives that we run a risk of actually not receiving what we prayed for. If we're praying for a husband because we're tired of being lonely or because we want to post cute pictures on social media or we're tired of being abstinent and we want to start having sex or we want to post the engagement ring or whatever it is, that becomes a selfish motive. The main reason for marriage, according to God's standards, is to advance the kingdom of God. The purpose is to do more for the kingdom than you could do on your own. And not only that, ladies, we are meant to be helpmates to our husbands. So if you're constantly praying for a husband simply because you don't want to be lonely or you're tired of sleeping alone at night, that's a selfish reason. Start praying those selfless prayers. Lord, allow me to be a helpmate for my husband so that we can advance your kingdom further on the earth. That's a selfless prayer and I believe that God will honor that more than, oh Lord, send me a husband because I'm so tired of being lonely. I'm so tired of this waiting season. So I just want to encourage you ladies, your desire for being married and finding a husband could become idolatry if you're so focused on your own selfish intentions rather than focusing on the things of God. Fame has definitely become such a huge idol, especially within the Christian community. Fame, money, fortune, wealth, status has definitely been taking the place of God in some areas. So I was scrolling on TikTok a few days ago and I come across a girl who's talking and I noticed that the same words that she is saying were the same words that I have said and I realized that she took everything that I said and turned it into her own video. And people started noticing, they were commenting in the comments and they were like, um, are you sure that's not uh, the Goddess Glamour's profile and then I messaged her and I was like, hey girl, um, I noticed that you literally copied everything that I said. I was like, was this Holy Spirit led? And instead of telling the truth of how she copied me, she ultimately blocked me and turned off her comments. And it just reminded me that even we ourselves as Christians and influencers and pastors and teachers and leaders can fall into the trap of the idolatry of fame, where we just want the biggest following and the most likes and the most comments. And I just want to remind us and encourage us that that can become idolatry. And I know that is within our innate desire to be great. Everyone wants to be great. We all want to do amazing things for the kingdom of God. Jesus tells us that in order to be the greatest amongst everyone, we need to be the servant. So before we can expect God to exalt us and put us on these great stages, then we have to take a step back and just truly ask God how we can be used as his servant. And at the perfect time, he's going to exalt us and we don't ever have to take someone's content or steal things and do anything that lacks integrity. All we have to do is be still and wait on God and at the proper time, he's gonna exalt us. 
in his own timing. Another huge idol, especially within the Christian community, is fornication, masturbation, and pornography. Fornication, masturbation, and pornography has definitely become an idol, especially within the Christian community. So a lot of people are having sex outside of marriage because they want to feel loved, they want to feel wanted, they want to feel valued, and that becomes an idol because that void that we're feeling in our hearts can only be filled by the power and the love of Jesus Christ. Masturbation has also become an idol. A lot of people masturbate because they are bored or they want to fall asleep and of course that can become an idol as well. If you're masturbating because you want to fall asleep, that is an idol because the Bible specifically says that the Lord gives his beloved sleep. So when you're masturbating to either relieve stress or because you're bored or watching porn because you're lonely, that becomes an idol. The Bible says to cast all your fears and all of your anxieties on the Lord because he cares for us. So ultimately, if you're using sex or masturbation or pornography or porn to take away stress or because you're bored or because you're lonely, that can ultimately become an idol as well. And number four, money. Money has definitely become an idol especially in the Christian community. So there was a viral post going around a few weeks ago and the question was, would you rather spend five minutes with Jesus or get $5 million? And to my surprise, a lot of Christians said that they would rather get that $5 million. I don't know about you, but spending five minutes with Jesus has far more greater benefits than some measly $5 million, which is here today and gone tomorrow. Just spending that five minutes with Jesus will reap so many immeasurable results that $5 million wouldn't even seem like a thing. I'm not here to bash money. Money is great, money is amazing. It is an incredible tool used to advance the kingdom of God. But the Bible tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, that many people who have been eager to get wealth have strayed away from the faith. And I just wanna encourage you that um, the Bible says that when we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then everything else will be added to us. So when we seek God first and pursue righteousness and when we are really focused on our godly purpose, that money will come. A lot of people justified it saying, oh, I could help build my community or build schools or advance whatever. Whatever excuse they use to justify what they could do with that money, it really didn't even compare to spending that amount of time with Jesus because Jesus could do all of that and more with just the power of his hand. So I just want to remind you that Money's amazing, money's great, but I would never choose $5 million over Jesus. The benefits of being with Jesus for five minutes far outweigh that $5 million any day. Social media has definitely become a huge idol, especially within the Christian community as well. Social media has definitely taken a huge spot that originally belonged to God. So everywhere that you turn, someone is either on their phone, scrolling through Instagram, checking a tweet, going through TikTok, and that valuable time could also be spent growing closer to God, reading the Word, studying the Bible, memorizing scripture, praying, and just growing closer to God. Social media and our phones have definitely taken the place of God. So I was reading through the Bible the other day and I came across Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 6 through 7 and it was a reminder from Moses to the Israelites and he was telling the Israelites and reminding them to constantly study the Word of God and meditate on the Word of God. And he says, teach them diligently to your children. Talk about them when you walk by the way and when you rise up and before you go to bed. Just constantly meditate on the Word of God. And they made me realize we're completely doing the opposite of exactly what was commanded to meditate on the Word of God. When we're walking by the way, we're on our phone. When we're rising up and getting out of bed, we're on our phone. Before we go to bed, we're on our phone. It's very rare that people are teaching their kids about God. Oftentimes, they just let them go on YouTube or TikTok and they're just scrolling on their phones. So social media has definitely taking the place of God, and I believe that we would have far less anxiety, stress, worry, fear, and more peace, joy, love, wisdom, and a prosperous and abundant life when we truly meditate on the Word of God and be obedient to the things that are written in that book. So I just want to encourage you, if God is convicting your heart to get off social media and meditate on His Word and pray and read the Bible, this is most likely your sign. Thank you later. 
In conclusion, the surest way to get rid of your idols is to number one, repent and turn back to God. And, and number two is gonna come through prayer. And, and thankfully, I have these two resources that can help you. So if you need prayer, then download the God is Glamorous app. We have prayer every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I believe that these prayers will really transform your heart and help you grow closer to God. Number two, you're gonna to need to repent. You can either do this privately on your own or you can repent together in a group in the God is Glamorous app. The Bible tells us to confess our sins one to another so that we may be healed. So also click that link below to join the repentance group where you are able to repent publicly and so your sisters can come around you and support you. And last but not least, join a community, join a Christian community. And with the Glam Fam, this is the perfect opportunity where you're able to be surrounded by Christian sisters who are able to help you draw closer in your faith so that you don't stumble and so that you have a greater chance of walking this thing out fully and completely. So I hope you take advantage of all these free sources. They're all linked below. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Stay glamorous.